All right, this is Super Register, uh, WSEI, Y Sports Entertainment International. And uh, we're here with Johan Rat, specialist, basketball, uh, development, so many different avenues. We won't get into them now, a little bit later in, uh, in what we're doing. And you'll see what Rat, Johan, I like to call him Rat because he's a gym rat. But you'll see what Johan is involved with. If you had oh, yeah. a summer league that existed when you played, what do you think that would do for your career? Well, I mean, me, I had to go my own avenue. Uh, I was blessed to have a really good network in the U.S. and I knew about the NBSPL back then in Los Angeles. That was the hugest thing as far as uh, competition and summer league in the world during that time. So I was blessed to have a free ticket by my agent at the time and, uh, and that's where I played during the summertime and got better. So our goal is to create something here to give the broadest and the most um, I guess you could say adapted environment possible for all those players who want to showcase their skills but cannot necessarily make it to the U.S. for whatever reason. So like I said, I was blessed to go for the first time in 99 and then the next year they invited me back. I played with West Coast, uh, you know, a Southern California team mm -hmm. uh, with the free agents. And we beat Bo, you know, Bruce Bowen. Who's on that team? Who's on that team? On my team, actually, we are only guys coming out of college, guys playing in China, guys playing in Europe, uh, no big names. Mm. And we won the whole thing. We actually beat in the semifinals, um, you know, Bruce Bowen, Bo Atlo, Anthony Mason. Uh, and we ended up winning the whole thing. That's a tough squad. <laughs> that was a tough squad. And we played against Rick Fox as well, Baron Davis, Steve mm. Nash, you know, Paul Pierce. They were playing on different teams. And uh, we've basically been <coughs> implementing some of the stuff that we're going to be putting together uh, in how to build winning sports programs and in conjunction with the SPL um, about the Summer Pro League, but taking it international. Exactly. So me, I was blessed to be in position. I was a pro to pay for my ticket and register for the NBA Summer Pro League. It was 250 bucks. You know, I think it's still the same price, but it's, it, you know, it costs money, but it was amazing. But the problem here in Europe, we don't have that. And, and most players during the summertime, unless they're gym rats like me or Hubert, most guys tend to just stay home, play the PlayStation, stay with their girlfriends and just get fat, I guess, you know, and it's not what professionals are supposed to do. Well, that, that, that approach and mentality is a little bit difficult for Americans to understand because you have the NBA season, five to six months where guys are off. Mm -hmm. So guys usually take about a month or two to recover, get surgery, and then they spend the next four months coming back, unless it was a major surgery, mm -hmm. then they have to take the whole year off. But in European season, 10 months. So you only have two months where you can relax, work out, <laughs> get surgery, maybe get a job or get some experience in another domain in case you don't continue mm -hmm. to play because it's not as linear as it is in the US. But this opportunity, the summer league opportunity, is something that cannot be provided by any institution mm -hmm. that is connected with the league, the federation, because it is a conflict of interest, because we're giving the players control of their destiny. And that's the goal. Professionals are supposed to work like Jordan, like LeBron, like Wade, like us in the summertime. You're mm -hmm. supposed to work two, four or five hours, six days out of seven. If you want to get better and be a real professional, I mean, that's how, that's how I look at the game. That's how, you know, I, I, I did what I did, you know, and it's still not enough for me. Uh, I know you, you said you won something back in 2000 with the SPL. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, we had talked so many times that he never told me that. Uh, no, he did tell me that, but I forgot. Johan did an interview with uh, uh, Walter what? Thompson. Johan won the title at the SPL back when it was at its peak in 2000. Yes. You got that plaque with you, uh, Yes. That plaque, uh, so, like I said, I was blessed to go for the first time in 99. I got an invitation, and then the next year they invited me back. You know, I'm and uh, shout out to Baron, I love Baron Davis. I'm, I'm going to ask you about that. I'm going to want your input on this because uh, if you got your title handed to you, because we got it right here to prove it, that he actually has it. It's a little beat up. You see, it's all beat up because it's like 2,000. So but I kept it with me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm proud of this and I'm proud of that. That's my education. Sit there. I'm graduate physical education, health, wellness, uh, and nutrition. So That's the education side. We're going to bring the basketball side to another level. That's our goal. We'd like to thank you for uh, participating with this little uh, information session with uh, one of our experts and personal uh, player evaluation, development, uh, 
commentator, color commentator, NCAA, Final Four, NBA. He's a little bit everywhere, on and off the court. Johan Rett. Thanks for your time, guys, and uh, looking forward to meeting you. And uh, I'm, I'm there. I mean, anytime you need me, uh, Jim Rat all around the, the globe. You know, I'm looking forward to do big things uh, with, the, with the company, with Hubert. Thanks for your time. When he says he's looking forward to talking to you, that's all you, the players out there. You come first.